we need more people who are politically invested in this country because a wider pool of politically invested individuals also means that we have a wider pool of potential future leaders to choose from. There are actually very real ways you can make a difference and I guess the only limitation is you know, what you want to do. If you want support for ground up initiatives, I think you can look you know, at the right places. Responding to new ideas, responding to uh, new values that come into the society. This is how change occurs and this is how we must encourage change to occur. The question then is how do we achieve this? How do we all contribute? We can actually change people's lives significantly through the political process. And that's what really inspired me and got me interested in this whole idea that getting involved in politics and, and participating in it Getting Singaporeans to be more politically involved is one of the key issues discussed at a political forum held at the National University of Singapore on Thursday. The event was attended by some 300 students with guest speakers Vikram Nair from the People's Action Party, Nicole Sia from the National Solidarity Party, Vincent Vijay Singha from the Singapore Democratic Party and Gerald Giam from the Workers' Party. During the two-and-a-half-hour dialogue, the four young politicians, aged between 24 and 41, were grilled on issues ranging from the ministerial salary debate to political apathy to the advantages and disadvantages of democracy. Uh, democracy is not, uh, it's not something that is, that is a perfect system, I, and I believe it's, it's really the least bad system of government that, that's available in our, in our world today. Uh, but it's something that needs to be refined, needs to be worked on, and we are refining our democracy. There was also concern on how politicians were sometimes misunderstood by the public. I think people have an agenda to discredit us. So I don't think this, you know, allegations of misquoting are accidental. I think it is very deliberate. Mr. Giam from the Workers' Party also addressed the criticism that the Workers' Party is too similar to the PAP. One thing that we can do, which all PAP politicians cannot do, is defy the PAP government whip. We don't look at things and say that, okay, the PAP does something, let's do the direct opposite, just so that we can be, that we can be different. We look at things with a, with a fresh pair of eyes and think that, okay, if we think that this policy is good, we'll continue to support it. Finally, a topical issue arose concerning an analogy made by Acting Minister for Community Youth and Sports, Mr. Chan Chun Singh, where he compared ministerial salaries to Tsai Tao Kui. The issue with the whole ministerial salary debate was that it was too focused on technicalities. That was my personal opinion of it. I felt that um, there wasn't enough focus on the people, the people, the people, meaning what the people thought, what the people felt about it. And I, I just felt that you know everyone was too caught up in just arguing about how much each of them should have been paid. From my own dealings with him, I can tell you he is absolutely down to earth. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even have known he was an MG until, you know, I read the papers. I mean, my first impression was, you know, just another chap, really friendly, very down to earth. So I think it's important to try and understand a person rather than just, you know, forming an opinion based on one quote in Facebook. I think what we do now is to uh, accept the, the recommendations of the E-Commission, but we also will we'll reiterate what Mr. Chen sh said in Parliament, uh, 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 Giles' colleagues, to view it with hope, because this is the starting point, not the ending point of the ministerial salaries uh, policy debate. The inaugural Young Guns Forum is a new initiative organized by the NUS Political Association to encourage youth involvement in politics.